Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. So we're going to talk about nanotechnology exchange traded fund. So there is a brand new exchange traded fund that came out yesterday. All right, it went public yesterday and it, it, it is focused on nanotechnology, right? So it went public yesterday. Let's look at it. It is called the Direction Nanotechnology Exchange Traded Fund. T-Y-N-E is the ticker symbol if you're interested, right? It's at $24.68. Why do we talk about an exchange traded fund when it goes public? First of all, why not? Exchange traded funds are an awesome way to build wealth over the years because instead of you trying to pick your stocks every single day or whatever and trying to make it through the stock market, um, you can let the experts do that for you. And usually if you pick a good exchange traded fund, you will be making lots of money year over year over year over year. So exchange traded funds are awesome. Now, this is brand new. Maybe this might become a good one and you can like hold it for 10 years and keep on, you know, uh, doing well. So this, you know, it's it's actually pretty awesome to get into an exchange traded fund as early as possible. If it's a good one, right? And if it's coming from a source that uh, has a good history coming out with exchange traded funds. Direction does come out with many, many exchange traded funds. Some of them are, of their exchange traded funds are awesome. All right, anyways, 2468, TYNE, nanotechnology, what is this about? Well, according to nanotechnology, uh, according to direction, I'm sorry, investors continue to seek exposure to disruptive industries, but one important area that they may not yet fully appreciate is nanotechnology, said David Mazza, managing director, head of product at direction. So nanotechnology is used today in a wide variety of businesses ranging from agriculture, biotechnology, defense, energy, semiconductors, also in the health sector. With this innovation, materials can be uh, made stronger, lighter, more durable, and more reactive, helping to reduce costs and increase productivity. So that's that uh, in, a, in a nutshell about, non, about nanotechnology. TYNE, like we say, is the ticket symbol. It is going to uh, the exchange traded fund. The investment results will be before fees and expenses that track the S&P Kenso uh, Extended Nanotechnology Index. The expense ratio is 0 0.65. All right, so the Direction Nanotechnology ETF provides exposure to companies believed to be at the forefront of nanotechnology, spanning the traditional sectors of consumer directionary healthcare, uh, industrials, information, technology, materials. The S&P Kensho Extended Nanotechnology Index is a sub-sector uh, index with the S&P Kensho New Economy Index Series intends to respond to represent, I'm sorry, companies that are focused on mechanical nanoscale processes. This is actually pretty interesting. I really like this. I wanted to get a, a, into nanotechnology and um, this will give you, I guess, an instant diversification, right? The top 10 holdings are Arcutris, if I pronounce it right, Therapeutic Holdings, Broker Bioscience, Beam Therapeutics, which was uh, actually trending as a stock the past week, Nano Dimension, I'm surprised it's in here, Moderna, uh, Intelli Therapeutics, BioNTech, Thermo Fisher Scientific, and many others. Sector weight, the most 72% is on the healthcare sector. Information technology, 18%, industrials, 5%, materials, 2%, consumer discretionary, 1.6%. Weight by countries, 87% is from the United States, 9% from Israel, 3.6% from Germany. So index constitution. The index uh, is constitutes of fabrication manufacturing processes, so devices, systems, and the processes allowing uh, for construction and or manipulation of matter at the molecular level measurement and simulation services uh, simulating design of nanomaterials and products and services that contribute to measurements in the molecular level materials outputs created from nanofabrication manufacturing processes delivery system systems enabling the delivery of nanomaterials to target location all right so that's that uh, pretty brief you can say so 2468 as i'm doing the video uh, when today when the market opens i don't know what it will be uh, TYNE. So yes, it was its first day trading. Let me know what you think about this exchange trade fund. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope that you guys are doing well. Take care.